Hi everyone, John Kozeski here with the Chamber of Commerce, your small business advocate. Today as we continue our distance socializing, I've invited a good friend of our small business community, Sandra Kurt, who is our Summit County Clerk of Courts. Sandra, yep. how are you today? We're doing well, John, how are you? Doing good, it's wonderful to see you, although a little differently than I did last time. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Yeah, it's a little different when uh, we don't get to see each other in person. Yeah, well, I'm glad we can just the same. So, uh, Sandra, for uh, those at home who aren't familiar, uh, the clerk of court's role in our county is a crucial role. Uh, but is. a lot of times people don't know as much about it as they do maybe their, their congressman or their mayor. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your role in our community? Okay. So the clerk of courts is essentially the record keeper for the common police court and for the ninth district court of appeals. So anything that gets filed in either of those courts, we're the ones to take it in. We docket it, we communicate it with all the parties on the case. We also take in all the dollars. So that's a very important responsibility as well. And then in addition to the legal side, we have the title side. So we do auto titles, boat titles, um, and then in normal times, we also do passports at our title offices and we do background checks at the courthouse. So uh, someday when we're back in our usual uh, business procedures, uh, we can do those for our, for our friends uh, with the chambers. Wow, that is, a, uh, that is a lot of hats to wear all at once for one office. So we, uh, <laughs> we appreciate it, certainly. Yeah. Um, well, I have to imagine with all that going on and, and obviously uh, the, the, the passport issue alone is probably a whole program we could do at this point. But in general, how has all of this affected your office and how are you and your team uh, responding to it? So um, as a government service, you know, we are essential. So both our legal side and our title side are both open. However, it's not with the usual procedures. So on the legal side, about the only thing we'll take in person are protection orders. Everything else is done electronically, or you can drop it off. Uh, we're still taking payments. You can drop those off. Um, and on the title side, it's uh, we only operate with auto dealers mostly. And then if a regular person has a title they need to do, they can call our office, and then we can help them uh, send it to us through the mail, and, and we can process it that way. That's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. Well, it has. Uh, I, I can speak personally as someone that that's. Uh, done a number of titles through your office in the past, and it has been a, a very smooth and professional process. So I would imagine it is no different Thanks, today. <laughs> well, Sandra, I, you know, I have a great question for you. I, uh, and, and, and I know you're not going to bring it up, so I will. Um, I understand we, we, we have a new election date in Ohio. It's coming up on April 28th. And will yeah. we, we see your name on that ballot? Yes, you will. Yes. Um, I'm on the ballot for the primary. I do not have a primary opponent. Um, but I will be on the general ballot as well in November, and I do have an opponent for that race. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, uh, just the same, it is certainly important to get out and vote in, in, in all of these elections. This year's is a little bit different because it's only vote by mail. So on April 28th, there will be no in-person voting. Um, That's right. And, um, you know, that time is running out. And so if you have not already applied for your absentee ballot, you need to get that application in. And you can go to the Summit County Board of Elections website and you can download it from there. Or actually, if you don't have a printer at home, you can actually write out on a piece of paper some various information you can get from the Secretary of State's website and mail that in. Uh, oh. Or you can call the Board of Elections and they can send you an application. You because first you have to that. get the application for your ballot. You have to fill that out or by downloading it or, or whatever, send that in. And then the Board of Elections will send you your ballot. And when you, after you fill it out and you send it back in, it has to be postmarked no later than April 27th. April 27th. So that time is quickly approaching. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, at the Chamber of Commerce, we are certainly neutral in all matters of elections, but what we aren't neutral about is the importance of voting. So heed absolutely. that advice, get your ballots in there, and make sure they're mailed by April 27th. That's yes. great to know. Well, yes. uh, Sandra, we are... Uh, oh. Also, you can drop it off. There's a drop box at the Board of Elections that kind of looks like a mailbox, but it says, you know, ballots only. And so if you don't want to put it in the mail and, and you're able to drive, you can drive it there and just drop it off in that drop box. Easy enough. Look at that. There is literally no excuses anymore not to be voting. No excuse. <laughs> no excuse at all. And also, if I could just make one more little government pitch. Sure. Um, and that is for everybody to pull out their census. Yes. So the census is critical as far as getting the resources that were due to serve our population. Mm -hmm. And um, 
you know, we, especially in times like this, we need every dollar that's coming to us. So we need every single person to be counted. Absolutely, absolutely. And if you do it online or if you do it uh, via mail, you can avoid somebody knocking on your door. That's absolutely true. <laughs> Well, Sandra, we are almost out of time today, but I do have to ask, I, you know, you're an essential business. I know you're keeping very busy, but we all have just a little bit extra time on our hands. So have you, uh, have you read all of the, uh, the Lord of the Rings series yet cover to cover or, uh... Well, see, I'm the kind of geek. I read that in high school. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> me too. It's okay. <laughs> that was behind me. Um, but no, I really, honestly, I haven't had much time because I'm at work every day and, uh, there's always something new popping up that we need to deal with. So, um... I will say one thing I have been doing is I've been trying to um, to negotiate kind of uh, getting materials for masks. So I don't sew, but my sister in Wisconsin is retired and she sews. And so I've been sending her fabric and she's been sending me masks. Oh so so that's what I've been doing with any extra time I have. As if serving our county, you're not doing enough. You're already now making masks and more. This is amazing, Sandra. Well, we... Uh... Well, we, we're very lucky to have you in Summit County, and we're very lucky to have you on the show today. So thank you so much for your time. Uh, we have Sandra's information here on the screen. If you uh, are in need of any uh, services from the Summit County Clerk, of course, we certainly recommend reaching out. And as we discussed, make sure you vote and make sure you fill out that census. So, yeah, it's critical. Critical, that's right. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching. In the meantime, keep home, keep healthy, and keep shopping local.